On this episode of the Armory, we're going to have a product overview of the Rawlings Quantum Plus Adult Football Helmet. Now this is a 5 star rated Virginia Tech helmet with a .245 star rating, making it the 6th best helmet on the Virginia Tech scale at this point in time. Now this is a larger helmet, although it does keep the traditional egg shaped design or the egg shell look, it actually is an extra large style helmet. Even though this is a large, it will only accept extra large Rawlings face masks, extra large Super Pro face masks, and those designed for the Vengeance helmets due to be an offset design. Much like some of Rawlings other NRG helmets, the Quantum Plus has three different technologies. The first of these technologies will be Rawlings C3 technology. This is a custom comfort cushion. What this is, is basically using the inflation points which are on the crown and the lateral occipital liner. This gold liner on the inside of the helmet, we'll go ahead and get these jaw pads out of the way so you can see it a little better. This gold liner is actually the inflatable liner. Unlike the tachyon which inflates behind the surface liner on your head, the surface liner which is gold here is actually what would inflate. Now again, this is the C3 technology which is that custom comfort cushion. Again, just like most inflatable helmets, as you inflate the helmet it will conform to your head giving you a nice snug fit. Staying inside the helmet we're going to go ahead and look at the AIA technology from Rawlings. The AIA stands for Action Impact Absorption. What this is, is this white foam behind the liner. And you can get in there and look. This is scientifically designed space material that doesn't break down like typical foams. It's more or less like a chamber system, which is going to keep its shape and keep you protected much longer than a normal foam would. Again, staying inside the helmet, as you can see, Rawlings kept its Rawlings heat exchange technology. All this technology is, this is a fully vented helmet. As you can see, through all the vents, through this helmet, it's very open, allows that heat to escape the player's head throughout the game. They've kept the nice big front pad. Now the difference between this front pad and the tachyon, the tachyon is more of a foam. This pad, however, is the exact same cushioning that lines the entire helmet. So there's no trade-off in padding from the front to the side. So your entire head is covered in this gold padding. It just has a nice moisture resistant front pad to keep sweat out of your eyes. Going back to the design of the helmet, again, a very traditional shell, that egg shape, that egg shell design. But you notice the aggressive Rawlings vents all through the top and the back, giving you six portholes. Very nice offset design, aggressive ear holes, while having a very traditional look to the front. Now this helmet is being discontinued just like all of Rawlings other football equipment. However, the original retail price was $259.99. Right now, at the time of this recording, footballamerica.com has it on sale for $169.87, which is a steal for such a great helmet. The only other thing we would need to cover is, again, the weight and the style of face mask that this helmet will accept. The weight of this helmet is only 3.16 pounds, without a chin strap and without a face mask. So again, slightly heavier, but again, there's a lot of padding in here and it's an offset design so it allows you to have more space between your actual head and the helmet giving you much more impact absorption. This helmet will only again accept Rawlings Extra Large face masks or Super Pro XL face masks or those face masks designed for the Vengeance helmet again being that they are XL design face masks. That wraps up this overview on this episode of the Armory. If you liked the video go ahead and give us a thumbs up maybe even a share. If you have any questions or comments leave them in the section below on products you would like us to review or on products that we have overviewed. And as always thanks for watching.